then, do you remember how your first crush felt? The butterflies, the giggling, the going weak at the knees? Well, that's exactly how Audrey Roberts and Corey is feeling at the moment, according to the actress who plays as Sue Nichols. Uh, speaking about Audrey's crush on Lewis, who's played by the dashing Nigel Haber, Sue said uh, she's a total teenager. She's gone a bit girly, but then you do when you fancy someone, don't you? So is she right? Do you go all a bit girly still, even, at our, uh, even in our advanced years? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, when you're younger and you have a crush, it's different then because you, when you're young and you have a crush, you think it's the real thing. Oh, and so you feel it's, sick and it's, you feel it's sick almost and it's painful. painful. Yeah. yeah, it's almost. It makes you sad. Mm. When you're, well, how old was I? 43. <laughs> <laughs> it's just embarrassing. Who did Kate. you have a crush on? <laughs> well, I had a crush, and it and it was a serious crush on Christopher Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Myself. Well, I don't need to explain myself. He's a very handsome man. But I didn't have a crush on him before I did the show. But, of course, doing the show and not being able to even stand up on the ice. And then he comes along. And, he, and he, the way he is, he's so professional and talented. And he'd skate round with you, holding you really tight. And he looks in your eyes like you're the only woman he's ever skated with. And I found myself going... <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I can't do it. Oh. I'm blushing. And then every time we walked in the room, I'd go... <laughs> Did you always make sure that you freshened up, freshened up your makeup and stuff before you saw him? Yes, it's oh. the first time I thought of surgery, Kate. I have to say. <laughs> and I used to get home and say to Ray, "I've got a really bad crush on Christopher Dean," which didn't go down well, and I don't understand that. But um, I really did. It was the, it's it's the first crush I've had since I was a kid. Yeah, it's really hard to have adult crushes. I haven't had one for ages and ages. I mean, George Michael dominated pretty much all of my. Uh, younger years, yeah. but recently I have found myself quite drawn to Brandon Flowers from The Killers. Yes, very handsome, but oh, oh, small. Don't, don't tell me he's small. I don't want to know. <laughs> oh no, that's a rubbish picture of him. That's not a good picture. No, it's not, is it, Carol? He's no, well fit, no, isn't he? He's quite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He wears guy liner. No, that's not good either. Oh, now you're just right. making me look a fool up there. No, he looks better with unshaved when he's got that sort of semi beard. Yeah, and yeah, he's got that jacket with rough. chicken feathers, he which is. Is, sounds wrong, but it's so right. He is. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I, I think there's two. There's crushes, and then there, and then there's fantasies. You see, because uh, I was thinking about this when I was little, I had crushes, and I have crushes now, but they're just crushes from afar. It's like you know, there are a few people I probably would never admit to them. It's like, oh, I've got a little crush on that person. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, Richard Madeley. No! <laughs> it's only a, it's only a little one. Like, no, well, yeah, but the thing is, it's a crush, See, I think. See, why? It's, it's something that you never want to do anything about. It's just like, oh, you know. It's like mine on Simon Cowell. I have exactly, Simon but my fantasies, you see, I was... Danny Dyer famously had a terrible, mm. terrible crush Russell on him, but Brand. he wasn't. And Russell Have Brand. you ever followed up on one of your crushes? Uh, Have you ever gone there? Well, sadly, no. Not Danny, Danny Dyer and Russell. No, I didn't, um, because Mark came along just in time before I could stalk them and, um, <laughs> and track them down. But yeah, yeah, I did once. I did. I was a groupie for a night. Who? Yeah, when I fancied a, a pop star in the 80s. This is a long time ago. And I did. I did. <laughs> I stalked him all the way down to Folkestone. And um, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> You didn't. I did. <laughs> you I did. did. You I was did. A groupie for the night. You sealed that. the deal. I sealed the yeah, deal. Yeah, but I think you see. I think that's what. I think all this crush business is fine when you're little, yeah, young. That's fine. I think you just look an idiot when you're older. Oh, cheers. I, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing worse than you know. An old, there's no fool like an old fool, is oh, there? Oh yeah, really? but it's fun because it's yeah. Fun. When I think you're you older. Look, I think I'm all for if you've got a crush and you're single, go and do something about it. I'm all for that. And then yeah, that's then it goes done. Away. Then it's gone. As soon as you've it. been there, Let your fantasy. Oh, but keep your fantasies. Fantasies they're all, are good. Yeah. They are lovely. Yeah. So, what did the reality um, not live up to the fantasy? What Carol? with the no, pop star? Well, yeah. No, because it was. It, I don't know. No, it, it, not really. Because it, it's like when you when you think you're going to meet your crush, and, and especially if you think you're going to get off with them, you do. You just turn into. An idiot. Yeah, that's, you know why, I mean? you that's why I never followed through with like, George Clooney. And it ruins it in a way. And that's why, that's why you can't I follow think, it up. I think so that was the best decision I never so made. Let it go. <laughs> okay, we're taking one last break. But when we